Okay, so for me personally, I almost never use this formula. I, I, I rely on the tree diagrams for just about everything in probability. Um, we'll get used to doing things that way. The tree diagram is, is a great tool. It'll work for almost everything we do. So there is the odd question, maybe uh, where you're not given enough information, the formula makes sense, maybe the way it's been given to you to use this uh, formula, but it is going to be provided. So you don't need to memorize it. My suggestion, again, is that you kind of just put it in the back of your head that when you think conditional probability, that's one tool. Okay, but uh, for this class, I think you're going to see we use the uh, we use the tree diagrams more than, than anything else. Okay, so let's uh, try one of these tree diagrams, and then uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so we're going to model this experiment, and I'll just review how the tree diagram goes in case it wasn't clear last day. Um, here's the way the experiment goes. You randomly select one of these pots, and then inside the pot there's a card. You pull it out, and it tells you how much money is on there. Okay, so that's what we want to know then is how much money can you win doing this. So let's model this experiment with the probability tree. So what's the first thing in this experiment that's going to happen? Not quite yet. You don't know if you have a $10 bill. You're playing this game. What's the first thing that's going to happen? Pick one of the pots. So that means there's going to be one pot this way, one pot that way. That's a decision in the probability tree. Now, on the probability tree, you put the weighting of the, uh, of the uh, what's the word I'm looking for, event happening. So for example, what's the uh, probability you choose pot one? What do you think? Yeah, 50, right? It's random, so we would assume then that it's about 50% chance. You pick e equally likely. So there's one out of two, two pots. Pot number one is one of them. And there's one out of two chance that you pick the other pot. Then we need to figure out what could happen. What are the outcomes that I could have from these pots? So for example, from pot number one, there is a zero, a 10, and a $20 uh, card. So those are the three possible outcomes, 0, 10, and 20. So let's model that in the diagram. I'd have three branches here, 1, 2, 3, $0, $10, $20. And there's a 1 in 3 chance for each of them. Okay. Then if we look at pot number 2, which is right here, okay, how many outcomes are there when we take one card out? kind of a tricky question. There's, there's actually three, right? There's going to be a 0, a 10, or a 20. Those are the three things that could come out. So that means there's going to be three branches that we look at here. One, two, three. A 0, a 10, or a 20. But it's the probabilities that change when we build up the tree. Because now, there's a 1 in 4 chance that you get 0. There is a 2 in 4 chance that you get 10. And a 1 in 4 chance that you get 20. So that's the way your probability tree is built. Your experiment now has weights on it. So this would be the weight of 50% based on how probable the outcome is. So uh, another way to check that you've done your probability tree correctly is when you add up all these leaves down here, the end of the tree. If you add up all these, the end of the tree here, you should end up with one. Let me just show you quickly. A half times a third plus a half times a third plus a half times a third. That's one-sixth, one-sixth, one-sixth. So three out of six is a half. So I've used up half of the sample space here. A half times a quarter, so that's going to be an eighth, plus a quarter, plus another eighth. That's going to add up to another half. So if I added up everything, it's 100%, because that's the entire sample space. So if you've done your probability tree wrong, it won't add up to 100%. So let's answer some of these questions now that we've got a diagram. I'd like to have them both on the screen. Well, anyways, a $10 bill is chosen. If it is known that, uh, what's the probability a $10 bill was chosen if it's known that it came, uh, the person picked pot number one? So this, again, is a conditional probability because we have extra information. So when we look at this tree diagram, okay, what do you think? What could you adjust in this tree diagram to help you answer the question? Well, we want to know what the probability is that it's a $10 bill. So it could be this. It could be also this. 
Is there something wrong with me putting stars beside those two tens? It couldn't have been this one because it had to come from pot number one. That's what it says in the uh, original question. So that's my probability right there. It's going to be one half times one third. So it's one sixth. Okay, so this time, what if we said, uh, yes, question? Yes, because, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, that, I've, uh, I've jumped ahead here, but uh, there was no decision to make at the beginning then, right? Yeah, so my, my fault, it's, uh, I was looking at the tree diagram, I guess, too, uh, too, too much. Um, it's easier just to use common sense at this point, right? And just look at the two pots. So that's good. It's good that someone's, that someone's awake here. Um, so what do you think, Thomas? How does your answer change? Yeah. So if you know that it's got to come from pot number one, then there's a one in three chance. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, because it tells us it had to come from pot number one, so basically the beginning of the experiment is gone. No decision was made. We didn't choose between pot one and pot two. We just went straight to pot number one. There's one, two, three cards. It's one of those three. Okay. So um, what if we know that the $10 bill is chosen? What's the probability if it came from pot number two? Yeah, because this time there's one, two out of the four. So... These ones here, that makes two out of four, or one half. Okay. So the probability that a $10 bill is chosen just in general, um, this is where we definitely need the probability tree. Okay, so this is my experiment that shows uh, the different values I could have had. Okay. So... The possibilities of picking a 10, it means it's either here or it's here. Maybe I'll put stars since I've already got some dots. Those are the two possibilities for choosing a $10 bill. So 50% of the time, you have a probability of one third. So there's one of the routes there. 50% of the time, you have a chance of one third. The other 50% of the time, you have a chance of one half. So when you say it in your head, it's a $10 bill was chosen from pot one or a $10 bill was chosen from pot two. So we're going to be adding those up. So if I add those two together, that's uh, one sixth and one quarter. We get uh, five out of 12, I believe. Okay, so in general, there's a 5 in 12 chance of picking a $10 bill. So why are you multiplying this time by the whole Why This time, uh, the $10 bill, I don't know which pot it came from. That's why I have to take into account that there's a 50-50 chance it went this way and, and I went into pot 1, or a 50-50 chance that it went this way and went into pot 2. So the other times, they told me, so I didn't need to include them. Okay, so the last part of this question says, if a $10 bill is chosen, what's the probability it comes from pot one? So this is really strange because you already know the outcome of the game. It says a $10 bill was chosen. What's the probability the person had chosen pot one? Well, let's think about the sample space here. Okay. If a $10 bill is chosen, this is what happened in that experiment. These branches are useless now. They didn't actually happen... I know that it has to be one of those two circles, either here or here. That's my sample space. The sample space has a probability of 5 out of 12. Okay. If I want it to come from pot number 1, this is pot number 1 here. Okay. So the probability that it came from this branch out of these two branches is going to be 
1 half times 1 third, follow that branch down, divided by the sample space, which was 5 twelfths. So I get 